Alright, so let's go ahead and complete the square on this so that we can derive the quadratic formula. So our first step is to subtract c from both sides. And so ax squared plus bx equals negative c. Then you divide both sides by a. And so x squared plus b over a x equals negative c over a. Okay. Then take your middle term, divide it by 2, and square it. So b over a divided by 2 squared would be equal to b over a times 1 half as you flip and multiply and you divide by fractions, equals b squared over 4a squared. So this is what we'll add both sides. So our formula now becomes x squared plus b over a x plus b squared over 4a squared equals negative c over 4a squared. <laughs> Sorry, negative c over a plus b squared over 4a squared. So we've added b squared over 4ac, 4a squared to both sides. Then you factor the left side. So x plus b over 2a and x plus b over 2a. And then I'm going to rearrange the right side with the community property, which is b squared over 4a squared minus c over a. Combine some things. So x plus b over 2a squared, since there's two of them, and we're multiplying them using the rules of exponents. Then on the right side, in order to combine these, we're going to have to have common denominators. So this side's missing a 4 and an A. And whatever you do at the bottom, you do the top, so we end up with 1. <clears throat> so we'd have B squared minus, instead of C4A, we'll use commutative property again, 4AC all over 4A squared. Then you square it both sides. And so x plus b over 2a is the same as plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over, well, square root of 4 is 2, and the square root of a squared is the absolute value of a. We'll leave an a there. Minus the b over 2a to the right. And so now, we're getting close to our formula. x equals negative b over 2a, plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac, all over 2a. We have common denominators, so x equals negative b, plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac, all over 2a.